Hi. I'm going to be doing um, kind of an energy report on what to expect this week. We have a lot of astrological transits I'm going to kind of go over. Give me a second to find this feed and get it set up. I'm going to be doing um, chakra cards today, so if you're just finding me, go ahead and drop a comment if you're going to want a card, and I'm going to do a real fast energy report to start. Give me a moment to share this video out. If you're just finding me, do the same. I always need you guys to help me share this content out as well, so please take a second and give this a share. I'm about to get started. So we've had a lot of intense energy coming into the planet the last couple of days. I could really feel the upgrades going on. So um, as usual, I haven't been around doing videos. Um, some people all have been asking me what's going on and can you do an energy report? So here I am. I'm going to talk a little bit about the energies. We still have a new moon in Scorpio tonight. We did just shift into the element of Scorpio as well. I like to think of any water signs as ruling the emotional, the subconscious. And a lot of people are noticing that the planet's getting darker as well this time of year and will continue to kind of get darker. Um, we're kind of going through the unconscious a lot more right now. We do have a busy week too because um, Thursday Mercury officially goes into retrograde. A lot of people have already been feeling that though. Maybe feeling a need to kind of retreat, go within, spend more time alone. And then we have um, some Hain that will be on Thursday as well a lot of you guys know this as Halloween so um, that time of year the veil is pretty much gone a lot of you guys are getting a lot of ascension upgrades downloads feeling the energies a lot of you guys are realizing this is the time to connect with your ancestors or loved ones since the veil is pretty much gone the spirituals right here it can feel like you're between worlds right now between dimensions I really like this time of year um, for that purpose I'm getting a lot of downloads myself we have had some intense energy coming into the plane as well on top of this um, for the next several days, we're going to probably be between a K3 and K4 index. I believe it really matters where you live to as to where you're at with those readings. We did see that the Schumann resonance was hitting 60 hertz last night. I will remind people that the normal vibration or frequency or pulse or heartbeat of the planet would be like seven point something hearts. So we're kind of going through the roof as well, frequency wise. And we can see that we're gonna to continue to have a lot of energy coming in the next few days as well. A lot of people are feeling that calm right now. Energetically, we're kind of in the middle of the eye of the storm. Um, so we can expect that we're gonna have a lot more of these waves or influxes of energies to be hitting us the next several days. Um, this is really a time to spend time recharging, maybe leaving offerings for your loved ones, having ceremonies, meditating, tuning into your dreams as well. A lot of you guys are receiving messages that way. Like if you're having astral encounters or dream experiences and bringing back memories of it, these are messages. A lot of you guys are starting to see a lot of synchronicities and number codes. Um, Kind of hang in there because we have a really busy closing of this year as well. We're going to see a lot of powerful energy coming in and, you know, creating a lot of beautiful gateways that we can be using for manifesting. We're kind of approaching and getting ready for that 1111 porthole as well. And there's going to be some amazing kind of astrology to accompany it. So this is really a time to be seeding our intentions and staying focused on manifesting what it is we're creating. If you guys have situations that are negative, or bringing you stress, toxic relationships, this is the perfect opportunity today to seek closure for the things that are kind of stressing you out. Time to let go. Time to do more releasing. We know that unless we're letting go of the old, we can't create something new. So, you know, this is a powerful time today with this new moon in Scorpio to be having a new beginning. A lot of this energy is kind of giving you the energy that you need in a powerful way to make a powerful transformation right now. 
Um, we can see a lot of the phoenix is kind of symbolic as with this as well. If you guys are in relationships, this can be an intense time for relationships. I'm going to remind you that a lot of relationships are going to fade away that are not spiritual unions. And a lot of people are going to see some intense relationship shifts. Now, if you're already in some type of spiritual union, it can be getting intense as well when it comes to love. <laughs> We have, you know, Mercury retrograde right across from Venus. So we have all of those elements of love in the air this week as well. If you're just finding me, share this out. Drop your name if you're going to want a card. My link is above if you guys need me. It's a really good time to be focusing on healing while we have Chiron retrograde the next couple of months. If you guys need me, you can always find me through my website. Guayana Bailey, good morning. I know I'm doing Halloween all week. <laughs> We're doing Halloween all week. Um, so we have some powerful energy. We're kind of, as I said, between worlds. And you know, this is a powerful time for people coming into psychic awareness or having abilities to be using them and kind of retrieving information. It's a good time to be bringing back your past life knowing as well or past life memories right now. More understanding of who you are, your purpose, things like that. Kiana, you're working on your base chakra, your root chakra, physical health, vitality, strength, body image, and balance. Keep on working on your root chakra, working, working on letting go again. Letting go of fear for a while, you know, the spiritual or the unseen could seem scary to us. And we're kind of trying to let go of that fear because we're learning that we're divinely guided and protected and that we should feel secure here. More grounding, um, connecting with the earth is really powerful for that chakra as well. Kimberly Renee, you're working on your base chakra also. More connection with the earth. It's a lot of, you know, how what we're going to come back to. And it's a lot of what will bring us all back into balance as well. Our connection with earth, the Gaia, the mother energy, the feminine energy, kind of returning to restore balance during this time. Keep on working on your energy. Gretchen Hyatt, you're working on your sacral chakra. Taking back our power in a lot of senses too. Keep on working on that chakra. I like um, crystals for every chakra that you can work on, right? More orange crystals, any types. I like citrine and things like that for the sacral. Robin DaCosta Nash, you're working on your third eye more. Seeing, you know, the amazing thing is we're going to continue to come into some amazing abilities. And uh, it's really powerful. Perspective, truth, knowledge, and clarity. We're seeing more and more of what's around us as well. Sometimes that's just knowing things, understanding things, seeing more of our situation, seeing things that either are working out or are not working out, right? And that is our psychic awareness coming online. Keep on working on your third eye. Nancy Roswell, good morning. You're working on your third eye too. Intuition, trust, insight, awareness, and guidance. Keep on working with that chakra. This is a powerful time the next several months for our psychic awareness, for our third eye. A lot of you guys are feeling um, this space storm that we're in as well. I've been feeling it in my ears, right? <laughs> Lots of ear complaints. Sometimes that's perceiving frequencies, hearing frequencies. I've been really feeling it in my third eye as well. You know that we're going through um, some serious upgrades the past several days and we're going to continue to go through kind of this storm and it is affecting our body. This energy coming into the planet is to assist us in our evolution and it's affecting our third eyes, our psychic awareness, our DNA. <clears throat> Irene McDade, you're working on your solar plexus, responsibility, self-discipline, empowerment, reliability, and fulfillment. And you're very empathic and we're going to reach kind of this state of empowerment. Set good boundaries, take good care of your energy. You're very energy sensitive, but these are abilities coming online. Um, Regina Lali Morella, we're working on your heart chakra, more connection, universal oneness, love, interconnection, and support. And we have a lot of work to do with the heart chakra as well. Our chakras are going to continue to expand, work on just staying in more of a space of love. I know we have a lot going on here and everything outside of that really is the illusion. Love is the only thing that is real. Continue to work on your heart chakra though. Jennifer Marie Hargrave. You're working on your solar plexus chakra. You're also very empathic and energy sensitive. So, you know, sometimes we're like sponges. We're taking in a lot of, you know, things into our aura and our energy fields. Make sure you're taking really good care of your own energy. I like things like nature, salt baths, spending a lot of time alone as well, because that's when I download and can really, you know, 
Integrate. Lori Martin. You're working on your sacral chakra. Pleasure, enjoyment, beauty, sensuality, and indulgence. A lot of my feed, I've come to realize, probably are generator energy types. And we kind of come together and create a charge to generate good vibes, right? Um, so a lot of what you're doing here is to make good energy. Keep on working on your sacral. I'm always trying to tell people that I'm learning how to master these things too. And I found, you know, staying excited about things, there's quite an energy behind that. Emotions are energy. Stay in bliss. Do more of what you love, what excites you. It creates really good energy. Beck Smith. You're working on your heart chakra, more love, kindness, benevolence, sharing and receiving. Keep on working on your heart chakra. Carly Moss, you're working on your throat chakra, creativity, imagination, expression, originality, and passion. Find your voice. It's going to be powerful in all of this. A lot of our manifesting abilities lie on that throat chakra, that gateway to the fifth dimension. Keep working on your throat chakra. Speak your truth. Nancy Louise, you're working on your crown chakra, divine consciousness, interconnection, expansion, oneness, and light. And consciousness is probably my favorite word that sums up so many things, right? And people are like, well, what are you into? And I'm like, consciousness. Um, and I look at it, you know, as that energy that makes up us and everything. And it's also that collective that we share. And it's something that we're learning how to tap into and tune into for, you know, the first time in a very long time. Keep on working on your crown chakra. Um, that's I'm really powerful in that chakra in my upper chakras. And I spend a lot of time in prayer, um, which is also a powerful form of meditation. You know, things like prayer, meditation are really good. Even fresh air for your crown chakra. Stephanie Stubbs, you're working on your heart chakra, more passion, desire, fun, fulfillment, and joy. And you know, everyone is kind of in the same paradigm that we've been taught that we need to go kind of be in. I call it the American dream, prison, some people call it prison planet for fun, right? But you know, we still kind of have the same template going on. And I find that a lot of people are going through the material motions and you know, coming up empty eventually, ultimately, right? Dissatisfied. I was talking to someone about the material and it's like, you're always wanting the next thing and thinking that will make you happy. And you're always looking forward to this future time when you've accomplished this or done this or bought this. And so, you know, for the first time in a long time, people are figuring out that our entire essence is spiritual. So if you've taken out the entire spiritual co component from us, you know, we're coming up empty. We're not who we are. And so we're getting back to the fact that we're spiritual beings kind of having this experience here. And, you know, that's what's going to satisfy us. That's what's going to fulfill us. That's how we're going to find our bliss. Jenny Krakowski, good morning. You're working on your base chakra, your root chakra. Family, belonging, community, culture, and tribe. And you know, once you find your authentic frequency, your soul family, your soul mates, your soul tribe, your consciousness group will be able to find you. Um, so really work on staying on your own frequencies. Teresa Yeager, you're working on your base chakra also. Home, shelter, safety, nurturing, and warmth. And we have a lot of fear. Um, a lot of this stems from past lives, which is an area I do a lot of work with. Um, time to release that fear, right? <laughs> time to release it. It's everything that's always been blocking us. Because when we worry, when we stress out, when we're anxious, when we're afraid something will happen, we draw that to us as well. The law of attraction is real and anything we're thinking about or speaking about is probably going to happen. This is kind of a creator school where we're learning how to manifest. So we realize that if you're afraid, you know, this could be dangerous to us. We could be seeing our fears manifest into real life. Um, so, you know, once we wake up and figure out how the universe really works, which is where we're at, it takes a lot of work and self-discipline to really reprogram ourselves and to set that aside. Um, if anyone in this feed does have like fear, anxiety, yes, it is scary. We don't know what's going to happen, right? We're in the unknown. We're in uncharted territories. Never before has this been attempted to lift up an entire planet into a global ascension into higher frequencies. So it can be very scary for our ego that is you used to the illusion of everything being laid out and knowing what's coming and things like that. And we kind of had to just let go now and learn how to flow with the universe because we are part of a divine plan. And so this is only for our highest good and for everyone's highest good. Time to kind of release and surrender. 
Ashley Lynn, you're working on your solar plexus too. Choice, free will, courage, willpower, and change. Um, we're setting aside the third dimensional control dramas. That is what a lot of people kind of came into these relationship templates and that's what they really were prior to the spiritual awakening. And we're realizing that we're very sensitive to these control dramas. A lot of that does stem from past lives as well. And it really takes our power. It takes our essence. It can be draining to us kind of on a soul or spiritual or a physical level in so many ways time to find that place of empowerment you know we've created everything good and bad in our lives and you know we can look back and I see like people that had crazier experiences well then these are abilities you're more of a powerful manifester probably um, so we're kind of coming into this awareness that we're responsible for our reality right and that's a good thing because we can stay more positive and we can see amazing things occur for us as well kind of um, so a lot of people have this fear that we're gonna go back to these dense you know scary <laughs> dark places and we're only moving forward on this journey take care with your energy you're really energy sensitive too Make sure you guys share this out too if you haven't. Irene McDade, you're working on your base chakra, your root chakra, grounding, nature, presence, practicability, and stability. It can be really powerful to be connecting with the earth during this time. I like to get outside during certain energy shifts, and it's been amazing for upgrading me and activating me as well. Try to get outside more. I say certain souls can find more of their abilities and power through connecting with the earth as well because it removes any negativity from your energy field and, you know, it really keeps us in alignment with Gaia and on those frequencies as well more getting outside even if it's like walking around barefoot grounding connecting with the earth let's see Leah Catherine you're working on your heart chakra more compassion caring empathy acceptance and gentleness you know this is all a journey of self every person you ever met everyone you know this is a reflection of our soul in whatever level more ca compassion for yourself I tell people like if you have um, fearful or negative thoughts you know what you need to do you need to be like no honey that right? no honey actually it's gonna be okay <laughs> right and you need to learn that that voice is not your own a lot of that is programming a lot of that is ego right it's things you're picking up on outside of yourself and so it's time to reprogram be nicer to yourself too more compassion more self-love right that's how we really light ourselves up is by loving ourselves first and a lot of people are expecting it from other people around them that's kind of like not loving ourselves enough and expecting the mirror reflection to be giving it back more self-love more heart chakra work it will just kind of light you up a lot more Let's see, Lori Martin, you're working on your crown chakra too. Inspiration, ideas, spark, conception, and impulse. And you know, we're meant to have this inspiring story. It's kind of like our lives and past lives coming full circle now. And it's been a long time coming to be making this spiritual ascension. Um, you should be working with the violet flame a lot, right? A lot of you guys have purple in your auras or your energy fields. And that is a sign that you're meant to be transmuting. There's a lot of negativity in the world and there's a lot of, you know, things that are occurring at different levels and a lot of people will come to you with their pain their suffering maybe their low vibes and you know your job as that receiver is to be alchemizing those frequencies to be taking in those lower frequencies and putting out higher vibrations so stay in mastery of your own vibration make sure you're not going to everyone else's frequencies and make sure that you know while you may be taking in the stuff around you that you're putting out really good vibes back Carrie Taylor, you're working on your heart chakra as well. And like I said, this is a powerful time um, for love. And that's what a lot of this has been about, us mastering, you know, not just self-love, but we will master that with others. Keep working on your heart chakra. Let's see. Susan Irene, you're working on your sacral. Sexuality, openness, sharing, beauty, and honor. Kimberly Ann, you're working on your solar plexus, self-esteem, confidence, self-love, self-worth, and pride. A lot of you guys are very energy sensitive. Maybe you guys are like blue rays, healers, light workers, just people here um, assisting with this ascension. And a lot of you guys are very energy sensitive. So make sure that you're taking really good care of your own energy. I just had to take like the whole weekend off. Like I was off grid, <laughs> like off grid, right? Offline, off grid, right? And I'm kind of just getting back. And sometimes we need to do that. We need to make sure we're taking care 
care of our own energy first because a lot of people are looking to us as an example or just because of our energy or whatever. So more self-care during this time, it will help. We're kind of shifting and I can always really feel it in my body like, like I'll just hit a wall right, energetically. I can feel, oh, we shifted, right? Oh, we shifted. I might need a nap. I might need a break, right? Um, and time to reset your energy. So make sure you're taking time to integrate the upgrades that you're getting too. <clears throat> Kelly M. Moore. You're working on your third eye chakra. We're coming into more and more knowing. This ascension doesn't happen overnight as well. It's kind of a gradual process. We are getting awoken and upgraded um, as fast as we can handle it, but we're about to become a lot more lucid entering 2022. So, you know, this is kind of like layers, this awakening, where we're going to continue to awaken and to kind of come back to ourselves on deeper and deeper levels as well. Samantha Watson, you're working on your heart chakra, emotional balance, stability, harmony, peace, and fluidity. Keep on working on your energy. You know, if we're ever seeing chaotic experiences outside of ourselves, signs that we need to work or recalibrate on our own energy. So, you know, sometimes things can get hectic. We need to really go inward during this time. Pay attention to your energy. Keep on working on your heart chakra. We have a lot of emotions rising to the surface too, right? I was like, strong connection between the Scorpio new moon and emotions today. So we have a lot of stuff kind of coming to the surface. But, you know, this is a time for closure and new beginnings. Cerise T. Curie. Love it. Sending you a crown, uh, you're working on your crown chakra, sending love, intelligence, education, knowledge, perception, and flexibility. And this entire planet is a school. So if you guys feel like you're kind of, you know, being trained or coming back to a lot of knowledge now, that really makes sense. Um, because earth is a school. And as we're going through the spiritual awakening, you're kind of coming back to a lot of information fast. Time to put that knowledge into practice. You guys know that we should be focused on, you know, putting out good intentions and manifesting when we have these new moon energies and whatever we're kind of putting out frequencies for today will come back to us in a couple weeks when we have the full moon. Nicholas Kaler, you're working on your crown chakra as well. Tamara Bear, you're working on your third eye, insight, understanding, awakening, awareness, self-evaluation. Keep on working on your third eye. We are going through a lot of upgrades right now. You guys know I also do um, third eye activations and DNA upgrades through my site. Allison Porter, you're working on your third eye. Dreams, messages, signs, symbols, and guidance. Love it. Anita Conley, you're working on your sacral chakra. Relationships, intimacy, freedom, acceptance, and trust. And it can, I was thinking this morning, it can really heal a lot with the divine feminine coming into balance with the masculine as well, right? Gods and goddesses rising. Um, just keep on working on your personal relationships around you, especially the one with yourself. Rose Tinsley, you're working on your third eye, the mind, openness, flexibility, imagination, and learning. Keep on working on that energy center. Ashley, Kanala, be me. I love it. Ladette, you're working on your solar plexus, your inner child, playfulness, lightheartedness, innocence, and wonder. There's a lot being released, especially with the feminine, like I said, and the inner child. And we're clearing a lot of deep, heavy stuff with this ascension. So if you have things coming to the surface, just know that, you know, you're healing a lot. Take better care of yourself. Do more fun things. Those are all really healing for the inner child. Irene McDade, you're working on your crown chakra, presence, awareness, attention, reality, and connection. We're finding out we're interconnected. And what I'm experiencing and going through, you guys probably are too. We do share this collective. We are experiencing the same energies kind of coming in, even though we're seeing and feeling different things about it. There is this interconnection, you know, with all of us that we're getting back to. Scott Orr, you're working on your throat chakra. Honesty, truth, transparency, sincerity, and communication. Um, you sa it says that you're uh, feeling charged. There's a lot of energy coming in. If you guys are like laying around a lot, you it can put you in an ascension funk. 
right? Then you'll start to feel lethargic. Move around, make lists, get stuff done, go to the grocery store, right? Go do your errands, take care of that list that's been on your desk, wrap up old projects. It's really good time to start moving around and flowing uh, because there is a powerful energy coming in. This is highly charged electrons. This is radioactive energy. And we know that, you know, it's really, really powerful for anything we're trying to do. Harvey Davis, you're working on your base chakra, your root chakra, actions, movement, perseverance, discipline, and motivation. And you know, the universe will do the rest. All I found out that all we really have to do is stay high vibe and positive and kind of put our work in doing our lessons and the universe will really do the rest when it comes to manifesting. We are co-creating and we have this universal energy that is also, you know, creating and experiencing everything with us. Stay positive about what it is you want to do with your life, where it is you want to go, what you want to see, what you want to manifest. Let's see, Charity Dawes, you're working on your throat chakra. Find your voice, I'm still working on it, right? I'm working on my throat chakra doing these videos. It's kind of outside of um, my comfort zone, but it's been really, really amazing too in strengthening my throat chakra and in manifesting as well. Keep working with that chakra. We really were silenced. We learned that it was scary <laughs> to be talking about this stuff in past lives. We had lives where we were persecuted, where we were targeted, and we learned it was best to hide. Well, in hiding, we came back to darkness. Time to shine our light. <laughs> time to turn up the light. Time to shine brighter. Um, now is really our time to be doing this. Let's see. Jess Crisculo. You're working on your solar plexus, personal boundaries, choice, assertiveness, empowerment, and authenticity, better boundaries, right? It's something we have to practice, especially empaths. I always say a lot of empaths start out with really bad boundaries, people pleasing, right? Things like that. Uh, make sure that you're honoring yourself first and that you're setting healthy boundaries with people. If you don't feel like doing something, don't do it. If it doesn't excite you, just say no. Tyler Schallenberger, hello. You're working on your sacral, money. Finances, power, generosity, and abundance, and we do have some really good energy to um, hopefully help implement some new financial systems and things like that to bring us abundance coming after this shift. Um, stay focused on reprogramming how you see money. The best way to generate more money is to stay grateful for what you have, right? To stay positive. Keep working with your sacral. Sherry Hoyleman, you're working on your sacral as well. Emotions, feelings, expression, moods, and balance. And, you know, we're going to become more and more tuned into the senses, the feeling, right? Feelings. Our feelings, things surfacing, feeling things deeply, right? Keep working with your sacral. Let's see. Mark Golden, you're working on your heart chakra. Forgiveness, letting go, healing, growth, and compassion. Time to let go of the things we're outgrowing. And this is really about us transforming as people. Everything in the material um, is pretty obsolete. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of people spend most of their existence working for the material, even at a cost to themselves. Even if you're, you know, working yourself into the ground, becoming tired, right? <laughs> Not taking good care of yourself or your health as we see. And guess what? When you die, the material won't mean anything to you. It will have always been about your growth as a soul. Um, so it's time that we kind of shift our energy into the right places, focusing on ourselves. Keep working on your heart chakra, work on letting go, releasing anything no longer in alignment with you and who you're becoming. Lisa Marie Carmenti. You're working on your third eye, visualization, imagination, focus, experience, and manifestation. And manifesting is an ability. Um, so make sure that you're, you know, working on it. I like to daydream <laughs> to manifest. I like to make lists and I like to daydream because then I'm putting out my intentions and it works really good. Make sure that you're focused on manifesting. Katie Kapasar, you're working on your throat chakra. Self-expression, vocalization, individuality, inner voice, and assertiveness. Holly LaFountain, you're working on your solar plexus, another empath. Gut instincts, intuition, knowing, sensing, and trust. And a lot of the spiritual, you're going to have to tune into through your senses, through knowing, right? Um, it's kind of like we get these little puzzle pieces and we get to put it together. Um, make sure that you're always paying attention to your intuition. That is your internal compass. And hopefully it gets stronger and stronger and you're going to get more and more tuned into it as well. 
Pay attention to it. It's your soul leading you. Linda Bonham. You're working on your third eye. Guidance, support, love, signs, and direction. And pay attention to the signs that you're getting. Sometimes they're not as obvious as the card in your face, right? Sometimes they're just like kind of like seeing synchronicities, but it doesn't matter. The universe is trying to awaken us more and more. Let's see. Teresa Yeager. You're working on your sacral chakra. Desires, goals, passion, craving, and fulfillment. Time to have more fun, right? Um, this is really a time to be celebrating as well as we're going into this time of year. It's a time of harvest, a time of abundance. A time of becoming one with the earth and our ancestors. Patty Ann, you're working on your base chakra, your root chakra, possessions, belongings, finances, assets, and treasures. And we're going to kind of come into our abilities more and more. Trying to stay positive and in alignment with what it is you're trying to manifest. I'm going to get off of here on that note, um, but I am manifesting students. If you guys are trying to get more and more into this stuff, maybe check out my class section. If you haven't been attuned to Reiki, maybe go check out a Reiki class. Get activated. Come set up a reading. I am here of service all week long. Love and light.